Okay. I got the carbon boom maker going again. The bladder mold, about 15 pounds. Yep, a little bit more than 15 pounds. It stay up all night. Air compressor probably won't come on. It might, but not much. You can see the uh, you can see the stuff oozing out on this end, and on this end down here, I have I put a, a see through piece of plexiglass I cut off of a golf cart windshield, and you see the bladder right there, and it's just oozing out all night long. Got nuts and bolts, and then I put extra clamps on it too. And, and if you look in there, you can see, if you look in there, you can see the other end of the bladder, Pircan International from France. They got an office in San Diego. Those bladders, I think they're affordable, 40 bucks. They may have gone up a little bit, but they're great. And Maclube goes on the latex bladders from uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, Danny cut that valve out for me, that aluminum cone shape. And I made the two phenolic things and the phenolic block goes up to about right there. And he combed that out too and matched them. And I gathered this stuff up from around the house and Lowe's or somewhere. And just some, a uh, couple of nuts and some bolts. And it'll keep dripping down in there. It's still dripping down in there. And it makes a nice uh, carbon fiber boom for the Velmobiles. Cause I don't do aluminum, so I'm making a, I started making a plug, a new plug, and that carbon boom is going to go from there to there, and then sand forever and ever until your fingers are bleeding, and uh, bondo, and micro balloons, and whatever, and it'll come down like most nice looking Velmobiles in the back, down to the front of the seat between your legs. Got a lot of work to do, but mostly right here. There's no work really going that way. And the legs, or the I should say the uh, the bases for the rear boom tower and the front boom tower will be made down in the mold with sheet wax. I've already got some of it marked with a little dot, but the sheet wax, um, I'll make a... Uh, a rear base, and the base goes all the way up the wall over here, about halfway up the wall. That makes a strong foot. And the same up front, you know. The other one will be up in here, and it comes up, comes up the wall like that. Kind of like a la Daniel Finn, you know. Um, so those are the lateral feet. Station one, station two, station three, station four, and station five. There's five stations that will be thick with quad axial and stuff. Those are like the ribs. You could call it ribs. Uh, you could call it a carbon bulkhead or whatever, but it's cross members down through there. And the sheet wax goes in first. The sheet wax is eighth inch or you can add a 16th inch one to it. The sheet wax goes in first and molds to the the tool down in there. And then you lay up um then you lay up your 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 plugs, um your feet or your your bottom base for the boom tower, and then you take them out and then you structure them to this area, and you structure the front one to that area. And then you fit them down in there and get the heights right and everything and all the measurements. But luckily, I have a velo tilt sitting right here for all my givens. I got givens. 
and the outriggers are about ready to pull a mold off of. I've been sanding on them things for months. Then I had to do a mod to them and sand some more, but I like them. So, when you first turn that thing on, it's really pushing the goop out. Um, it's PTM and W from Los Angeles. That's this epoxy. It's about six hour epoxy, so you don't have to worry about, you know, hurrying up or anything. It won't be cured till, I don't know, I'll just wait till in the morning around nine o'clock, maybe drink some coffee or something and take that thing out. I've made, I don't know, maybe four of these things. But this is the trick I'm using nowadays. Uh, this is a lifesaver. Uh, this is 3M composite spray adhesive uh, for Formula One people or IndyCar people when they're doing their carbon. You go ahead and load the mold with the, with the dry carbon, you know, and uh, and then wet it out, and it's a it's a like an oyster sale. You, you you load up this top one first, then you load up that bottom, and then you flip it over, and um, and bolt it all together, and turn the pressure on, uh, you know, and keep it. I like to keep it. Fifteen pounds is good. You know, uh, that's what I've done and, and they turned out perfect. So I'll just stay right there with that. It's still dripping over here. That's good. And make sure that's tight for sure. You don't want that plexiglass flying off because uh, it's holding the bladder. But that's the way I wanted to build it because I want to be able to see and I want the epoxy to run out. So I just got buckets sitting down there from Harbor Freight, you know, and it does great. But I mean, really, that's it. Um, and you don't want to have to lay each individual wet gu gummy mess down in there, each piece of carbon. You know, just go ahead and load all the carbon with this, for lack of a better word, hairspray. And I know some of the modelers do use hairspray. Uh, this is a big mold and this is good stuff. It dries quick and tacks up. You spray the mold and spray the carbon and you put it in place with your hands. I, you don't even need gloves or anything. And then soak it up really good, bolt it together and turn the pressure on. And that's it, you know. So that'll make a carbon boom. Uh, the kind of carbon boom I want that, um, that the stock sliders, the, this thing, these things slide on the boom of all the Velmobiles on earth. They come from the Netherlands and Czech Republic and wherever there's, you know, building Velmobiles. But, uh, so I don't use a stock square, real sharp pointed, four, four pointed aluminum boom. I just use that one. It's a little bit more rounded, and those sliders fit real good. Uh, let's see. I can show you one over here. Hold on. Let me get this cover off. Okay. There's a slider right there holding a pinion 18-speed gearbox from Germany. You can slide them backward and forward, and you can adjust them. Here's a slump drive, and it's got... Uh, it's got a second story level on it, but it's a slider too. It slides and that's for Gates belt. So that's what those things are, but the aluminum's too heavy. So I'm making that boom. I'm gonna put it on there and finish making that plug. And this plug will, I will pull a two part mold off of this that bolts together. I'll build a fence up through here all the way to the front and the mold will bolt together down through there. And then, so it's a two part mold. You turn it upside down and lay it upside down, the carbon in it. And then the next day you unbolt it and split the molds. 
So it's another split mold and take your part out. And the parts go, the part will go in here. It's a one piece from there to there. And it, it goes in all at once with um, Dow U428. I think DuPont bought them out. So, well now the, those cans of basically windshield adhesive, which is carbon to carbon and what you want to use, is now says DuPont U428. And they even sell it on eBay, $10 a pop usually. It's good stuff. That's what those other two, the yellow Velmobile you seen me build in the four wheeler in there in that room. That's what the interior parts are put in with is that DuPont U428. And this stuff's a lifesaver because I laid that thing up one time with just, uh, just putting it in each layer and wetting it out. Oh my Lord, what a mess and a hundred gloves and, but now I just load all the carbon in, soak it down good, turn it on and let it, let it run out in the bucket. So it's better. Uh, for amateur, I guess I'm all right. Um, so that's it. Uh, it's still, it's still running out. It'll run out. It'll run out for a while cause this is five hour epoxy. It just sits there and drips and drips. And this is a lot of fun, but this thing really makes a nice quality part too. Yeah, it's still dripping. Um, this is a really nice part. I'll have some left over. I don't really need it, but, um, so that's it for, uh, YouTubers and, uh, amateur Velomobile factory. We're getting it. We're getting there. We're just cutting the weight off of this vehicle. That's it. I do it all here. And, uh, you know, I gotta, gotta get this aluminum out of here. You know, um, I haven't changed the design, but I gotta get the weight down cause I don't like aluminum. So there's that. And, um, so, you know, the thing, the thing will just, Sit on there all night. Thanks.